Yesterday, surfing the internet, I just saw two Tesla Semi Mega Chargers are now live at Giga Nevada. Sawyer Merritt, who regularly provides good Tesla news and information, shared these breaking images. In the past, he has given me permission to use them, so I'm sharing them with you. He says a source has sent me some photos of the Mega Chargers at Tesla Giga Nevada factory. There appear to be two working stalls at the moment. Tesla Giga Nevada semi mega chargers are live friends that's a big news because that tells us that tesla is becoming more serious bringing the semi trucks in the production so based on recent reports and pictures from the factory we see that these new mega chargers are live tesla appears to have started expanding the parking lot at giga nevada as well maria merano reports from tesla radi saying construction at the tesla semi mega chargers which appear to be larger versions of the company's urban superchargers with thicker cables was reported back in October. Shortly after Giga Nevada started constructing semi-mega chargers, PepsiCo CEO Raymond LaGuarta stated that the popular soda pop company was expecting to receive its first Tesla semis in quarter four. Pepsi said it was expecting to receive 15 Tesla semis earlier this year. Now Sawyer Merritt shared this picture saying a source has sent him some photos of the mega chargers at Tesla Giga Nevada factory and there appears to be two working stalls at the moment. That means Tesla need them. So now here's what actually PepsiCo CEO said. He said actually transportation is about 10% of our overall gas gas emissions so it's important and we're working on different solutions we replace our fleet regularly every 10 years more or less that's the life of a truck we're already starting to buy electric trucks actually from tesla i don't want to promote anybody but that's the brand that we're using so far and we're getting out first delivers in quarter four so it's something we started a few years ago we are working with tesla the pepsico ceo said now at the moment i don't remember if tesla pepsico already has tesla mega chargers installed so they can charge their um pepsi uh, their pepsico tesla semi trucks tesla giga nevada will be producing the company's class 8 semi trucks tesla Tesla started posting, actually posing jobs for semi-production at Giga Nevada last December. There is currently one job in Sparks, Nevada listed for the semi. Tesla is hiring a mechanical design engineer who can help develop the batteries for the vehicle. The roller and responsibility, the roles actually and responsibilities of the mechanical design engineer include full product design responsibility, three design of complex parts advancing products developing new technologies and so on as hinted by the recent updates from giga nevada tesla may start some production of the semi in 2022 at the 2021 shareholder meeting elon musk noted that tesla aims to expand giga nevada and giga fremont by 50 percent the semi mega chargers and parking lot expansion may be the first phases of giga nevada's future growth says Maria Merano from Tesla Radi. Now, um, uh, uh, I think it would be great if we have more pictures. Maybe if you guys are in the area, maybe someone can take a photo and uh, so we can see the label of these stations. We must know the capabilities are the plug um, and the plug to see the plug would be uh, fantastic and interesting to see. Well, friends, let me know what you think about all these things that uh, the new Tesla Semi uh, superchargers. Do you think Tesla Semi deliveries are close and when they will be? This is Armin Hari from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news god bless you everyone peace be with all of you give us thumbs up please for this report and let's move on to our next tesla story good morning everyone there is good news about tesla giga berlin this morning and brandenburg's economy minister york steinbach says this is more than we expected welcome back friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news the construction of tesla's new european factory in in Germany, Giga Berlin brought significant economic changes, most notably to Brandenburg. The company is investing heavily in the region, already generating thousands of jobs and more in the future. 
Brandenburg's economy minister confirmed that Tesla is filling positions at Giga Berlin with mostly regional workers, which should ally the fears of opponents because opponents were worried about that people will come from elsewhere and the local population may not have enough jobs. But, you know, Brandenburg needs migration of skilled workers and they are coming, but the good news is that more than half of the workers at Giga Berlin are filled by local population. The search for skilled workers for Tesla's Grünheide Giga Berlin plant is proceeding according to plan, Brandenburg Economy Minister Jörg Steinbach said at East Germany's Entrepreneur Day. He confirmed that, in particular, the region where Giga Berlin is located will benefit from the new uh, uh, factory. According to the current status, more than half of the employees um, that are going to work at Tesla Giga Berlin building electric vehicles are from Berlin and Brandenburg, which is in line with Tesla's vision. And this is where Steinbach said, this is more than we expected. The producer is interested in bringing benefits to the region and local residents. <clears throat> They can now not only get high paying jobs at Tesla Giga Berlin building electric cars, but work in the field of sustainable energy, says Eva Fox at the Tasmanian. In addition, specialists in the region who previously could not get a job in Brandenburg will no longer have to be forced to leave their homes and families in search for work or in other regions of Germany or other countries. You know, the automotive industry in Germany is mainly uh, situated in the southern regions. According to the information, the rest of the employees will come from other parts of Germany or from abroad, particularly probably from Poland. Brandenburg, like all of East Germany, also needs skilled immigration for successful economic and social development, Steinbach said uh, during that day. Earlier, it was expected that the bulk of the workers at Giga Berlin would be Polish workers. However, this turned out to be far from reality. In the first phase of the expansion of Giga Berlin, uh, Tesla factory will employ about 12,000 people, which means that thousands of local residents can get jobs close to their homes. When the factory is fully completed, it should have up to, look at this, 40,000 employees, people working at Giga Berlin. Well, friends, let me know, what do you think? Do you think Giga Berlin is going to exceed the expectations of the local economic um, uh, people or people, local economy or people living in the local area? This is Armin Haryan from Tortnews.com. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and have a great day. Peace be with all of you. God bless you, everyone and we'll meet in our next Tesla story.